Okay, it's a June 14th, two days later. Happy June 14th, everybody. This is Fast Track Video, and I want to go over some real quick things here. Uh, um, I've got some stuff here on a new track that I had worked with yesterday. And what I really want to do is me add Fast Track Video. And I want to always start off the, with this uh, little thought for everybody because it's very important. Um, there's no reason why I would be doing what I'm doing. I should be really dead. I shouldn't be alive. But if you love God the way you love music, you will never be the same. And that's the way my life is. is my life is not the same ever since I've accepted the Lord into my life. It is a tremendous blessing. Uh, I'd give up everything I have for the sake of the gospel because it, he's more important than anything in the world for me. So um, I want to just go over here. In the last video, I talked about how to make an adjustment in SWAMs with the MIDI uh, component area of the plugin. I forgot to mention that, uh, you know, number one, we can go to Rolly Blocks in here. And I'm still trying to learn blocks a little bit. I had another block in here earlier, and I was able to switch different programs that I had created because one would be set, one block would be set up for single channel, and one's for multi. Uh, this one here is uh, set up, should be set up for multi MPE here, and. Uh, I, I'm starting to understand this whole interface over here. This is basically to, to program and set up the blocks so that it identifies things. As you saw, this thing lit up when I started changing different programs. This program is set for MPE mode, and the channels are between 2 and 16. And they can be in, between, in one track, is what I learned uh, just recently with Rolly. Um, but in the one track, there's at least 16 different uh, expressions uh, based on the five different forms of touch. So uh, we also have, uh, I have this as, this is my three, it's a global interface. And what I didn't know here is, I thought by clicking on this, maybe not, well, set for default, but I want to do uh, here MPE mode. Um, when I go to global in here, these I thought were additional separate selections. I had to have, I thought that global was just one selection I can make, but global is just, you know, they just minimize down the whole uh, uh, collapsible routine of these three components. They just did it in terms of a collapse down here to see how it changes. But it changes to this program file name that I created because all of these elements are together and wrapped around this program here. I didn't know that. So um, if you're confused a little bit about this application, like why do I have several different drop downs here and are each one of these different to each other? They are different, but they're all the same because they're wrapped around this file name or this uh, program that was created. So, you know, and here I can, what I really like about this drop down here, aside from the global, is the key and expressions because I can change this, and that's what I want to do with this when you hear the song. I'm going to go bring it all the way up to A sharp, and you'll see why. And, then, and you can see that this has been now updated when I do that. So it's critical to have this, and it's critical to have it open when you're playing and recording. And even with multiple blocks, I'm starting to realize I, I'm going to need to program them. And they will. I can toggle each one, and, and I could have, for this one here, because this one's set up for MPE plugins, this one can be my MPE block for my synths. And another could be an MPE for my violins, and then I can have two other blocks because I do have four blocks. Um, in fact, this should be turned off. <laughs> um, what can happen is, is I can either make a, an XY path on one block 
or I could end up, uh, you know, just, whoops, wrong place to close this out. I'm thinking of too many things at the same time. Um, you know, I, I have yet to get, I have yet to practice for two, and I can't seem to get two even when I end up pre-programming them into different ones because block five is for single channel and block three here for melodic. And, and keep in mind, I use melodic as a, because if you go to live pad here, uh, well, this is for user, but the factory settings have different kinds from melodic blocks um, to uh, music gen. This is, you have the drums in here. Uh, you have different kinds of things in here. In fact, I, I like to experiment maybe the drum block with bit tweaker like I had done. Uh, earlier this week, but I only had one block, so I'm going to probably work with that with multiple blocks. So anyways, you know, we, we do have, um, I go back to user, I select block three so that it's already set for that. Now we're going to go and play something over here. Uh, this is something I had created last night, and um, you know, it just shows you that I, I'm getting a little better at some of the stuff here. And, doesn't seem to be so intuitive, uh, you know, kind of throw everything out. This one took a little thought in terms of my uh, scrubbings, uh, cutting, splicing, and stuff on uh, this. So let's go in this. <laughs> and I'm using two isotope. Uh, Break tweaker sounds, one on the sphere and one serum as a track. This one that's going to be live is the saxophone. So you can see here, this is why. You know, if it didn't work initially, I'm going to get it off key. I wanted it in A sharp, and it sounds like it went back to C as a default. So I, I really didn't pay attention. And that's where I really got to, you know, when I'm, I'm working with this or when you're working with it, uh, make sure that when you go to scale and key that you don't, because it'll always go back to default. Maybe they can fix, the, really can fix that with the dashboard so that when they, uh, when you set it like this and you save it, it saves it and it won't change it. It'll stay at A sharp. Uh, that way then I can make more pat patches in here to different letters and I could probably call it melodic block MPE A sharp. You know, I like to name things really exactly with what it is so that it's easier for me to grab and get a hold of real fast. So let's try this again here. You know. <laughs> see what it is. Of course, with this, 
somehow um, I have to change and work with the velocities. There's a lot of things that can be played with on this. Um, of course, I have not done so, so that I could actually, I mean, we have the key here in the scale, but we do have also the performance, and in the performance, you scroll down here, uh, you see that, that you can slide, and it gives you the intensities here, uh, slide curve as well. So that will also work with the sensitivity on uh, the, t the touch of the block. Where I was talking about in the last video, you had a plug, uh, a little uh, a touch block that's brand new. You can slide it in here. Still, you can actually work with that if you don't have the touch block or the touch pad. You can work with your velocities and uh, the touch sensitivities of your blocks right in here under performance and controls. So overall, lots of fun. Uh, it's great to just start doing more with the blocks and start moving more into music creation rather than set up functionality of, you know, the software, the hardware, and the confusion behind it. You know, is this going to work or is it not? You know, what am I doing and what am I not doing? This whole purpose of this Fast Track video is to get people who bought blocks to like them, you know, and especially on a Windows platform because this is a beta version of the software. I'm very impressed with the beta version that what they have done. Uh, I went this route with the dashboard as opposed to noise on the phone because noise is very limited to sounds. And I made investments with uh, Complete uh, 11 from Native Instruments as well as Serum, LFO, Nerve. Uh, bit tweaker for isotopes. I have the vocals, which I'd like to start singing some songs. Uh, uh, I have a voc vocal synth by isotope, um, as well as uh, the swams, saxophone, and viola. I uh, would like to get probably the flute next and uh, maybe the cello. They are great instruments. Now, I, I might have sound like I was centralizing on BitTweaker more than the other plugins. They all are great, but once again, I emphasize it's a matter of practicing, playing with all the different components that are available to tweak and make adjustments to each plugin, not just BitTweaker. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and... Uh, See you the next time we have another uh, Fast Track video. Who knows, might be another couple days. Oh, shit.